to the Windows Phone tutorials. Um, this video might be a little bit late. I mean, what the first one that I did was eight months ago, but I'm back, so that's all that matters. Um, I have actually now got Visual Studio 2013, and uh, not 2012, because obviously this is newer and it's come out since the last video. And um, I now actually have a microphone which seems to be behaving, so provided that it keeps doing that, this should be a breeze, this should be a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to try and make the videos more kind of um, regular now, and um, I'm not going to go over the same thing that I went in the first video, because in the first video I kind of just told you that I'm trying to make them a little more exciting than normal videos, and that I'm not going to drivel along like I am right now. Yeah, so anyway, we should probably move on. In this video I'm going to actually show you about variables, so I'll try and introduce anything to 2013 that's new, which I didn't, you know, which, which isn't obvious, and... Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just explain to you what the variables are like in uh, C Sharp and how we kind of assign them at the start and then how we would use them further down in the code. So I'm just going to create a new project and I'm just going to call this variables. So we'll just wait for this to load. Okay, so just going to go straight into the main page um, CS file, which is just the class file here. And I'm going to just take out all this code that Windows Phone put in or Microsoft put in. It's kind of irritating. Um, right, well, there you go. I mean, it's not it's not annoying if you actually want it there, but we don't. So, yeah, dribbling. Anyway, what we're going to do is um, I'm just going to kind of run through a few things at the variables. So we have, to start off with, we can talk about string. Now, string is literally just, well, I, I should think people know what the strings are for this. It's just kind of like you can use numbers, you can use all sorts of characters, you can use letters. It's, it's basically you can. We'll just assign a new string and we'll call it my string. And I'll just. You have to open up speech brackets to assign it with some data to start with, and you can just put whatever you like in here. Um, and then we always finish the line off with a uh, little semicolon. But as you can see it accepted that and our string if we then decided to call it now from uh, from the code we would get what I've written in there which wouldn't make a lot of sense um, you can also assign strings uh, just simply like this now this is how you would do it if you've got no information in it in the start but you're going to put something into it so it just kind of helps keep your code a little cleaner when you don't need anything in there what's the point in putting anything in there so the only thing is now if you called my string too you wouldn't actually uh, get anything through and in fact you would actually crash the application unless you had try and catch around it but you uh, you wouldn't do this I don't know why I'm talking about it um, the next thing we could talk about is um, is int so this is the integers so we'll do this one as my int and this has got to be a number so if we tried to put some text in here it's not going to have it it has to be a number so we'll add zero and it's just as simple as that and the same goes for what we were saying earlier we can just leave the, uh, the number out and just assign it later in the code um, other than integer we've got double this means that um, you can actually have a number like 1.1 so it allows you to use decimal values this is useful especially for stuff like um, canvases it's actually now proving me to be a liar because I haven't put well it's not proving me to be a liar but it's making me look stupid because I didn't put equals in there so that was uh, that was my bad um, you got to give me some slack, it's quite late, and uh, I'm really trying for you guys, so there you go. Anyway, that's uh, really useful. A lot of stuff in uh, C Sharp does use double, um, such as that the canvases, when you're doing like the X and the Y coordinates, it's not always going to be bang on, so you have to have the decimal in there somewhere. Um, other than double, we're likely to be using um, the Boolean or the Boo, which is basically either true or false. So we'll do my bool equals false. Now, again, we can leave this without the false in there but you can't actually put any text in here like a string value with the speech marks. You can't put a number in here, but you can either be true, false, or you can get away with null. Um, well, you can't actually. It's not a new, no, they, I've learned something new in doing this. Null is not acceptable. <laughs> but, I mean, if you wanted it to be effectively null, you just leave it out. You don't put it in there. So. It's as simple as that. This is what we will be using as we go through the tutorials. I can't see us using anything else other than maybe um, a list. Now, lists are really cool. This is a string list, so we'll just call it my list equals new oh, string. Oh no, what am I doing? New list string. Now, 
I don't know why, but I really don't like looking at it with the blue, so I like to make it look turquoise with the bigger S. It's, it doesn't really make a difference at all. It's just personal preference. Anyway, with the lists, what this will do is this is like an array. Um, you'll be able to put multiple um, strings into this list. So, for example, you could do my list because that's what we've called it up here, and you can do dot add, and then you can literally just add a normal string like we have at the top, and you would the errors will disappear and then it will add it to the list and then you can just keep doing the you can just basically repeat this code over and over again and it will just keep adding them and adding them and they'll become listed and then if you decided to declare that or try to call them and you had your own string here I'm just going to call it here you can use my list and then you can put these brackets in and select zero now if we selected zero this, this is where some people will get a bit confused zero is actually the first of them you don't use one to get the first you use zero so this one here would be zero and then this would be one two and three so if we did zero we would get this first bit of information so that's just a quick run through on the lists there um other than that i can't see that we're going to be using anything else these are all the variables that we will be kind of working around and hopefully we will make some cool stuff with it so that's my first tutorial well second tutorial but first of late. Um, I look forward to any sort of um, comments, anything you guys need to know, anything that you're currently working on and you need help with, you can feel free to message me privately or leave a comment or let me know, give me some feedback and if you're feeling super amazing then go ahead and donate. I will add a link um, to the website which will take you straight to a donate button and just donate anything, you know, every bit is kind of help, you know, every bit helps. Um, I'm not going to kind of quote Tesco's in here but it really does just a little bit to keep these videos kind of going anyway next video we'll be going through some more bits and we'll start using some buttons and some clicks so this is the end of the tutorial 2 and i will look forward to seeing you in tutorial 3